Let's start talking about the mash and kind of what is your approach when you guys at Linwood are, are putting together the, this West Coast style? What, what are you trying to do in the mash? Kind of temperatures and yeah. uh, rest, stuff like that. So we're, we're 152 on mash temp, okay. uh, 1.2 quarts per pound. We're targeting a 5.3 pH and we're, uh, we're looking at like chlorides, the sulfates at like a three to one. So Okay, so you're, you're more... You're more chloride heavy. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, that's interesting now. Yeah. So is that one change in, in, in the beer? Uh, I mean, well, because I mean, when you first started making it, were you doing a lot of water work? No, not really. Not at all. When, when we were first making it, I wasn't doing any water work. To be yeah, honest. yeah. Isn't that wild? Because <laughs> I, I, I wasn't either. Yeah, yeah. And, I, I, and it, the funny thing was, is uh, it was Andy that brought the water chemistry to to the brewery yeah. I was working at. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, yeah. And 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 I feel as if he's probably had uh, a hand uh, in that down there with you. Oh, guys. for sure. Yeah, yeah. With you guys now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the in the early days, I was I was uh, reaching out to Colin Kaminsky and uh, yeah. trying to get my water on <laughs> my, my water. <laughs> and, he, and he's a great dude, and was definitely forthcoming with all that. But yeah. So, and, and really, what do you feel like, because I mean, that you would think that the, the classic water build for this is going to be the opposite yeah, of what you were just talking. Yeah, yeah. Like it would be, it would be three to one gypsum to chloride. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but what have you guys found and, and like, what is it doing to the beer going with this more chloride forward heavy approach with that beer? Yeah, I'd rather have it as softer. I'm a, I'm a fan of like modern IPA. I don't know if that's even a thing, but. I'd rather have a, a, a West Coast IPA that's like 30 to 50 IBUs and really soft. Yeah. I'm just not, I, I don't know. That old, like a uh, really harsh bitterness thing. It's just yeah. not, it's just not it. Dude. And, and it's just, and, it, and, and you can even see just like culturally, it's just gone away. Yeah. I mean, cool. you, you know, we, we yeah. talk about it. We, we talk about all the time on here mm -hmm. that all hazy IPA is, is, Mm -hmm. it's the demand for approachable beer that's right that's soft not better <laughs> really happy beer. yeah sure exactly. and, and then the, the <laughs> whole key is is you need to have it bitter enough to be balanced and, yeah. and that that's really where it's at right Just right really yeah so so <laughs> let me bounce something off you because this is the way i talk about chloride and and, and gypsum with people yeah. Is so when 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 I am pushing uh, gypsum on something, when, when, so when I am pushing the sulfate, mm -hmm. I don't, and and you can disagree. This is just the way I I, I explain <laughs> it. In my mind, how it works is gypsum doesn't make a beer more bitter; it brings it into focus. So if you yeah. think about like you're looking at something through a pair of binoculars, yeah. When it's fuzzy and then you dial it in and, and it makes the image sharper. Yeah. The, the image actually isn't like bigger or something like yeah. that. It's just it's more just in perfect. focus. Yeah, I agree with that. Does that does that make sense yeah, to you? It makes perfect sense to me. But I feel like when, when you go on the other side and, and you get a little bit chloride forward, you, you can be a, a, a little bit softer and a little bit rounder. Yeah. Um, and I do think it can emphasize a dryness too. Yeah. Um, have you experienced that? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. I've always been yeah. on, the, on the softer side of uh, West Coast IPAs. So, Even, yeah. Well, so quick side note, if you and Andy are drinking uh, your your West Coast IPA hop mm -hmm. on top, um, do you guys fall in line exactly where the bitterness is? Because when he and I drink a beer, he always likes beers about one notch more bitter than I do. Yeah. Do, no, you, I, do you find that with, are, are you guys in a similar spot? Or are you guys kind of in the same range? With, as no, as I, I agree with you. I think he, he's a, he's a notch above my. Yeah. yeah. And, and dude, I, I think there's so much utility in understanding other people's palates. Yeah, for sure. Especially when you're, you know, especially when you're, when you're working with them every day. I mean, shoot, you, you and Andy have worked together for how many years now? Jeez, like uh, at least seven, right? I think so. Yeah, dude, that's beautiful. Yeah. 2018, I think. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and I mean, you, you you just have to build that understanding with somebody else. Yeah. I mean, that that's that that's really where it's at. So, yeah. uh, kind of uh, spinning spinning back to the the water talk and, and and the stuff in the mash. You said kind of a, a 152 mash rest. So yeah. it's, it's kind of it's kind of balanced between your alpha and your beta amylase. So. Yeah. 
you can get a little bit of residual sugar, but you know, it's not going to go bone dry on yeah. you or anything well, well, like that. Hop creep sorts all that out. Hop creep will. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think one area that I messed up, Bill, is I don't think hop creep is written on this question sheet once. <laughs> but we're we're you need to you need to remind me to talk about this. Because I know you well, I think really everybody has been battling it. Yeah, it's disgusting. But, uh, <laughs> so the, the other note on the mash and the water for you guys, yeah. you guys are borderline brewing with RO water. Almost. Oh, pretty much, yeah. Our Raleigh water is is Oh my god like calcium's low it's it's like it's basically like pills in water yeah that's so crazy so uh, and this is this is a side note because i know and you're you're just gonna have to eat it i i, I know you make a killer dry stout <laughs> do, do you have to throw do you have to throw chalk in there yeah absolutely with what you're, and, and does it work yeah. like yeah. Think, does it, it add does. up the same way? Do you, do you have to like use more than what the calculator says, or does it tend to kind of work? No, well? it kind of, it kind of, it kind of works. Yeah. So Start, you have to, yeah. you have to push your pH up. That, yeah. That's crazy for me yeah, for the water sure. we have. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's yeah. that's just that's just dorky stuff. But yeah. um, <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're gonna maybe be over here, or over here. Appreciate you watching. <laughs>